Part One. A little bird told me. A little bird told me that you and Cindy are going to get married. A pain in the neck. Sometimes my younger brother can be a pain in the neck. A piece of cake. Learning to speak English is a piece of cake. To lay off. The company laid off fifty workers last week. Now they have no job. And pigs can fly. I think I can win the lottery. Yeah, and I think pigs can fly. To be dead tired. I've worked for fifteen hours already today, and I'm dead tired. To call it a day. It's already five p.m. Let's call it a day and go home. To be in charge of. Do what Linda tells you to do, because she's in charge of this office. To be in the way. If my sister goes with me on my date with my boyfriend, she'll really be in the way. Be my guest. If you want to go out, then be my guest. But I'm staying home. Part two. To be named after. I was named after my grandfather. To be no big deal. Don't worry about losing the game. It's no big deal. To be on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. My boss just raised my salary. To bear in mind, or to keep in mind. When you go camping, you should bear in mind that it gets very cold at night. Behind someone's back. I can't believe that she went out on a date with him. Behind my back. To build castles in the air. Susan, I'm happy that you want to be president of the United States, but don't build castles in the air. To drop someone a line. When I arrive in London, I'll drop you a line to let you know I got there safely. Easy come, easy go. Mary, 
I'm so sorry that your company lost that big client. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Every now and then. Every now and then, my father takes my mother to see a movie. To follow in someone's footsteps. You've become a doctor just like your father. You really followed in his footsteps. Part 3 To fool around. I haven't worked all day. I've just been fooling around at my desk. To get along with someone. I really like Ryan. We get along with each other very well. To get in touch with. To be in touch with someone. Get in touch with me as soon as you get an email address. To get rid of. Harry should really get rid of that old car and buy a new one. To give someone the cold shoulder. Lee, did I do something to make you angry with me? You've given me the cold shoulder all week. To hang in there. Bill, I know that studying in university is difficult. But hang in there, and you'll have your degree soon. If worst comes to worst. I got fired from my job, and now I can't pay my rent at my apartment. If worst comes to worst, you can come and live with me. In the long run. I know you don't enjoy exercising, but in the long run, you'll be in very good shape. To be up to date. CNN always has the most up-to-date news on TV. To keep an eye on. You have to keep an eye on your dog, because he always likes to run away. Part 4 To keep my fingers crossed. Tomorrow is the big competition. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. To keep under control. It's very difficult to keep 30 young children under control in the classroom all day. To keep your nose clean. If you don't keep your nose clean this time, you'll be in big trouble.
to keep you posted. I'll keep you posted if anything changes in our plans. To keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut about tomorrow's surprise party for Andy. I don't want him to know about it. To let bygones be bygones. Brian, I'm so sorry about what I said. That's okay. Let bygones be bygones. To let someone off the hook. I'm going to let you off the hook this time, but don't ever do that again. To live beyond one's means. Tony never has enough money because he always lives beyond his means. To make yourself at home. If you arrive at my house before I do, just make yourself at home. To meet someone halfway. Since we both disagree, do you think maybe we could meet halfway? Part 5 On the Spot That girl really put me on the spot when she asked me if I wanted to go to the party with her. Once and for all. I'm going to stop smoking once and for all. Out of the question. Taking a holiday to France this year is out of the question. We don't have enough money. Out of date. Look at her dress. It's so out of date. Out of order. This public telephone is out of order. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon, my husband buys me flowers. To put into practice. We have an idea about how to sell our product, but we haven't put it into practice yet. To save someone's skin. Thanks for helping me with my homework. I almost didn't finish it. You really saved my skin. So far, so good. Ken, how's your diet? So far, so good. I've lost five kilograms.
to take a load off your back. When my boss hired a secretary for me, it took a load off my back. Part 6 To take something for granted. You shouldn't take your friends for granted. Someday they might be there to help you. To be at the end of one's rope. Brad, can I borrow some money? I'm really at the end of my rope. To be up to something. Why are you two children being so quiet today? Are you up to something? To cheer up. We all went to visit Teresa at the hospital to cheer her up. To ease someone out. Jonathan is so shy. We really should try to ease him out of his house more often. To face the music. Molly broke her father's favorite chair. Now he's home from work and she'll have to face the music. To find fault with. Why do you try to find fault with everything I do? To get on one's nerves. Vicky talks so much. She gets on everyone's nerves. To give birth to. When Isaac Newton gave birth to the idea of gravity, it changed the world forever. To give one a big hand. The audience gave the musician a big hand after the concert. Part 7 To give someone a ring. If I hear any news, I'll give you a ring and let you know immediately. To go Dutch. Oh no, I don't have enough money for both of our movie tickets. That's okay, we can go Dutch tonight. To go without saying. It goes without saying that Tom is in love with Kathy. To have another thing coming. If you think your team can win against our team, you've got another thing coming. To have one's heart set on. Jennifer is very disappointed about the concert being canceled. She really had her heart set on going. To 
to have time off. Let's go to the beach. I got time off from work for the next six days. To keep one's head. It's very important to keep your head if there's an emergency. To keep up with. It's so hard to keep up with teenage clothing fashions these days because they change so often. To knock it off. Would you two knock it off with the loud noise? I'm trying to sleep. To know by sight. I can't remember what Timothy looks like, but I'm sure I'll know him by sight. Part eight. To let the cat out of the bag. You shouldn't have let the cat out of the bag about being pregnant so soon. I wanted to surprise everyone. To look down upon. David thinks he's so important. He always looks down on the other people in his office. To lose one's head. Melissa completely lost her head when the house caught on fire. She didn't know what to do. To make no difference. It makes no difference what you say. I'm still going to buy that expensive car. To make room for. We'll have to make room for your mother when she moves into our house with us. To put on weight. Wow, Daniel has put on a lot of weight since the last time I saw him. To rain cats and dogs. Chris, you're completely wet. Yes, I was outside, and it's raining cats and dogs. To run errands. I'm sorry I can't join you today. I have to run a lot of errands before this evening. To run out of. Sweetheart, we need to go to the supermarket. We ran out of milk. To serve one right. It serves you right that you failed your exam. You didn't study for it at all. Part nine. To spill the beans. Please don't spill the beans to Elizabeth. That I bought her a gold necklace for her birthday. To stand up for. 
You must stand up for what you believe in, or no one will respect you. To tell two things or two persons apart. It's difficult to tell those two twins apart because they look so much alike. To throw people together. At the seminar, they threw us all together into groups and made us talk together. To waste one's breath. Don't waste your breath with Fred. He'll never change his mind. To beat around the bush. Stop beating around the bush and tell me directly why you're so angry. Get lost. Billy, get lost. I don't want to see you here again. To be up for grabs. Did you hear that the position for manager is up for grabs? To rock the boat. Everyone is happy with the decision, so please don't rock the boat. To stand out. With his bright red hair, Carl really stands out in a crowd of people. Part 10 To get on the ball. We're really behind schedule. We need to get on the ball. To be on top of things. William is so organized. He's always on top of things. To be out of one's league. Nancy will never go on a date with me. She's out of my league. We're all in the same boat. Don't feel sorry for yourself. We're all in the same boat. To be out of the woods. The doctor said that grandmother is still very sick, but she's out of the woods. To be kicked out. Can I stay with you? I was kicked out of my house because I didn't pay the rent. To watch out. Watch out! That car almost hit you. To stop short. The workers stopped short of constructing that building because they didn't have enough money to finish it. To move on.
Yesterday, the students finished Chapter 1, so now they'll move on to Chapter 2. Around the clock. They're so tired because they've been working around the clock for two days. Part 11 To find out Sharon found out that she was going to have a baby. To feel sorry for I really feel sorry for that old man who lives alone and has no family. To take advantage of. Be careful when you shop because some salespeople will try to take advantage of you and offer you an expensive price. To keep an eye on. The police will keep an eye on the man they think is the criminal. To watch out for. If you drive at night, you should watch out for drunk drivers. To be better off. Our country would be better off if we had a new prime minister. To stand a chance. Our team doesn't stand a chance against their team because they are much better than we are. To make sense. Roger, what you say makes sense, and I agree with you. To get away with. I can't believe you got away with sneaking out of your house last night. Your father didn't hear you. To go off the deep end. Since Janet died, her husband has really gone off the deep end. Part 12 To go through channels. If you want to get a visa to go to America, you have to go through a lot of channels first. To crack a book. How do you always get such good marks in school? I never see you even crack a book. To take another person at his word. Jerry is a very honest man. You can always take him at his word. To leave something open. Since they couldn't agree, they decided just to leave the topic open for now. To have what it takes. Sarah, I believe you have what it takes to be a great volleyball player.
to welcome someone with open arms. My family welcomed my new boyfriend into their home with open arms. To get out of line or to step out of line. I'm afraid if Jeremy gets out of line just one more time, they will make him leave school. To give someone a hard time. My teacher doesn't like me. She's always giving me a hard time. To be a stick in the mud. Come on, Joe. Don't be a stick in the mud. Go to the party with us. To hit someone where it hurts. When you told Nancy how fat she is, you really hit her where it hurts.